Aloha from Hawaii. This is Dagan Phoenix here and we'll be going over our session, which is going to be about the role of the birth partner. Uh, your birth partner could be anywhere, anyone. It could be your spouse. It could be your boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be your significant other. It could be anyone. So I'm really happy that you to have the opportunity to connect with you guys today and to teach you guys about the role of the birth partner during uh, birth hypnosis for childbirth and so for pain for childbirth and so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the top uh, things that we need to remember when we are uh, learning and growing together with our significant other and let me tell you this is definitely a growth um, process that you're going to be going through and um, having your baby is the most beautiful most romantic most amazing experience of your life so please don't take this lightly please practice and go over everything that you need to go over and I recommend watching this video with your significant other or your birth partner so that you can know what it is to what you need to expect so the first First thing we want to do is to remember that we are going to rehearse the labor. Now rehearsing the labor is so important because if we rehearse it, we will know what we want. And if we practice what we want, that is in the form of the way we think about it, the way we meditate, the way we practice with our um, with our scripts and we go over the hypno hypnosis sessions that you will not have to memorize, that you can actually read, you just need to practice. It helps you connect and bond with that person that you care about and that can make your birth the most amazing experience of your life. So don't forget, we are going to rehearse the labor. The second thing that we are going to do, and these are not in any particular order, is that you are going to read the scripts to mom. I don't know who your birth partner is, but that person needs to read the scripts with mom. Um, as many times as you can make it in to do. I know that with my first birth, I had a hard time asking for this to happen, meaning like I had a hard time asking my husband to say, hey, can you read me these scripts. It's hard sometimes as a mom to find the time and the energy um, and the organization, especially if you have other kids, to read those scripts. But you need to read these scripts, dad or birth partner to mom at least five times. Now, mom, I'm going to want you to read, to listen to them yourself. I want the, your your birth partner to either record them or you to record them and listen to them over and over or you can use some of my examples as well and listen to those. The more you listen to them, the more that you reprogram your mind. Now, reprogram your mind, reprogram your mind is really important because um, we all know that we hear a lot of bad stories, <laughs> lots and lots of bad stories. When we read them, we don't always have um, a knowledge of exactly what we are reading. So what, what I have actually expressed in previous recordings is that you actually write your own scripts. So the, the scripts that you're going to write, you can kind of follow my basic guidelines on how to write those scripts or even just basically repeat what I've said or just listen to my scripts. But it is really important that you have your own scripts as well because those things that you say are, are individually designed for you. You wrote them. So you're going to write your scripts. Um, you wrote them, they mean something to you, they have more specific references to um, your gender of the baby, if you know, and also to your own personality, like the own your own inner guidance system. So those things that maybe cause you more anxiety than others or things that you think might be triggers, you can work through those things with the scripts that you write for yourself. And if you need more information on how to write a script, please message me below, write a note, and I will go ahead and try to respond to that as quickly as I can. Um, so you're going to also want to create keywords in your scripts. So the keywords are going to be things like um, just little things like take a deep breath or breathe or um, I'm going to touch your shoulder and you're going to go into a deep 
relaxed state. Um, say for instance, if dad, if you notice that mom is starting to get anxiety, you can clearly see that she's starting to feel some pain and it's causing you her quite a bit of exhaustion. This is where you would touch her shoulder, um, touch her back, wherever it is, certain keywords, just like a little touch that you've repeated and practiced and set into motion previous through your practices um, that will remind her to just go Lucy limp. So for instance, if dad was to say touch you on the shoulder and say relax then you, you take a deep breath in and then you just sink down into a relaxed state so you're going to imagine the top of your head every single muscle dropping down relaxing down through your eyebrows your chin your neck and your upper shoulders and down all the way through your body you're going to use all of the different muscles that not all of them but like just general um categories of muscle groups that you're going to run to relax and focus quite a bit in this area because you want all of this to be completely relaxed during your labor and what often happens is as anxiety comes in some there's more pressure that comes in to this area and there's resistance believe it or not your body actually does resist birth because of your own internal subconscious beliefs that you may not or may not be aware of at this time now we're going to go into a uh, light touch massage. This is also something that you're going to want to practice. This is extremely important, light touch massage. So I will do a separate video for this um, to demonstrate how to do light touch massage. But basically just to go over it just really um, quickly is say that mom is, is facing this direction. She just relaxes her body forward drops all of her muscles and dad's going to just go in and touch gently coming up very very gently just on the skin just very gentle movements and it's, he's going to go all the way up this all the way up through the shoulders across the arms even in through the facial muscles reminding mommy to not tense up her facial muscles this is super important once you get into that tense position you're usually these muscles tensing up is in is being reflected in your birthing muscles which are also tensing up so you're going to want to do all the very reminders as you do the light touch massage relax your eyebrows relax your your um forehead and your jaw muscles very jaw muscles are actually almost exact mirror to your um, birthing muscles and for some reason when you clench your jaw muscles you're usually tensioning up down there as well and so you're going to want to make sure that you have those in your keywords as well and so just take a breath i love you so much to breathe and just relax and as you go about doing this light touch massage which i will demonstrate for you better in a different video okay and then after we are practicing the light touch massage and of course this seems like it's very time consuming um all i just want you to do is spend like i don't know 15 minutes if you can um three times a week especially near the end monica if you're doing this i would recommend doing it right away and you are going to want to make sure that those practices come into place quite a few times before you actually go into labor Okay, and so um, celebrate. Your life is an amazing experience, especially your birth. This is the most happy time of your life. And there is nothing better than having your sweet newborn baby coming to you. And so you're gonna wanna celebrate the, the victorious experience that is about to happen. And you want to have that really programmed in your mind, what you want. And and if things, you know, if things aren't exactly perfect, it's okay. You can have gratitude for the way that things go right, the way things go smoothly, and don't just throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. <laughs> just because it doesn't go perfectly as you would like, for instance, say you planned a home birth and it didn't work out and you ended up in the hospital, does not mean you have to say, oh my gosh, I cannot even have an amazing birth anymore. I can't have a pain-free birth. Now I'm gonna have to have an epidural. Now I'm gonna have to have um, all these different measures put into place. Don't worry, celebrate every moment of your labor, even end-stage labor. I hate it when people get so caught up in the fact that they're supposed to be in this intense pain or even are starting to feel pain and then they just drop everything and then they don't even get an opportunity to celebrate their birth, which is so important. Okay, also, I want you to go on dates with your partner. 
with your birth partner. I or your you know your husband um, I recommend that you go date at least once a week on dates and during these dates you you can also um, just be very romantic and just it connect the way you used to connect when you were first dating and just be really happy and full of life and energy act like a child jump around play around even if you're so pregnant don't worry about it take cute little videos and pictures um, get just get right in there like you're just having an amazing time together enjoy your time together even if you're not dating your birth partner so to speak I just want you to date and enjoy yourself and if you have if you don't even have a partner then just go and sp spend time with your friends and your family and enjoy your life just really bond with those people because you the feelings that you feel are going to come through to your baby and the energy will be transferred from you into your baby every day now practice 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 i've already said this lots of times but please do it because it's so so important that you remember that practice makes perfect if you want to have an amazing birth you need to practice that birth and so what i mean by that is the scripts um, the light touch massage the visualizing the success the writing of the story the rewriting of the story and the recording of the story practice 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 so important um, now I want you to bond, bond with that person that you love so much, the dad of your baby, your, um, your baby too. Just spend a lot of time loving your baby. Your baby is so amazing. You won't even, if this is your first birth, I am so excited for you because the bonding that you experience with this baby will be life changing. And it, this happens even before the baby's born. So I just want you to be so thrilled and excited about what is going to be coming to life when you give birth and it's going to be the most amazing experience okay so when i said to write your birth story what i meant is that you're going to write the story about the way that you want your birth to go approximately how long the labor is what it's going to feel like when the surges come what it's going to when the pressure starts to get more intense do, what does it feel like to you does it feel like pressure does it feel like working out does it feel like a lifting up sensation tell me write it down and record it and then listen to it so then there's also another part to this that i want you to remember you're going to write your birth plan your birth plan is really important it's something that you that you record and you give it to your midwife or your doctor and you tell your doctor this is what i want you take control of your birth story i know it seems so radical and incredible to say that you're going to tell your doctor how it's going to go and your doctor may even express some doubt about the way that you think it's going to go but I want you to tell your doctor that this is what you're going to do and you don't want to hear any negative ideas about that and if your doctor does express negative ideas and you're early in your um, in your birth plan in your birth process I recommend switching doctors and finding somebody who can actually work with you because you nothing worse than going to la into labor and your doctor says you have to have pitocin now because it's not going fast enough and I'm gonna I'm going to give you um, a C-section if you don't have this baby within two hours and they literally will control your entire birth story and they do not know what they're talking about. Your body is your life. This is your body, your life, and you know what's going on inside of you. But they act as if they're, they know everything, which is so bad. So I want you to try to switch doctors if or midwives if you're finding that that is a problem. Usually midwives aren't a problem, but if you're finding that that is a problem when you tell them your birth story, how it's going to go, and what you want and no i do not want an epidural no i do not want um obviously episiotomy they don't really do those anymore but they they may i'm not sure where you're from but i do not want all these different methods i just want it to go very natural i all i want is for you to monitor my baby and make sure my baby's safe and to be there for me when the baby's born so that if there's any complications that there you're here for me but you know your body you're designed for this this is you you are made for all of this Okay, so here we go. Here is a list of things that you can do. Your partner can do. Your partner can light candles and read scripts and use positive affirmations. If you don't know what a positive affirmation is, then you probably should watch some more of my videos and anyone else who's recording these types of things. Affirmations are things that you want and that you believe in and you repeat them over and over to yourself and so in this case it would be I'm gonna have the most amazing birth my baby's gonna be self safe and healthy I'm going to feel um, 
pressure instead of pain during my contractions and so on and so forth. Okay, and then you want to play spa music. You can find spa music on YouTube if you don't have it on your library. Spa music is very amazing to listen to. Even if you don't actually, you're not actually listening to a script, you can use your um, own mind to repeat back your own affirmations or have your husband do that or your birth partner. And these affirmations are going to tell you, I feel pressure. I feel a pull up sensation. My body is opening. My uh, my cervix is opening quickly and efficiently and easily to allow my baby to come forward. And then you imagine the baby's coming out. My best birth was when I actually continuously the entire time imagined my body feeling only pressure and a pulling up sensation as my baby came down. It is so convincing to my body that I succeeded and that's how it works. That's how this whole thing goes down. Your mind is in control. Your mind is in control, not the words of others. You are the powerful one here. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna put on your audio recording. Sometimes your, your, your birth partner is not present. Sometimes they are too busy doing the light touch massage and having a hard time with that. So you can just put in your, your, um, your uh, AirPods or whatever it is that you have for listening in your birth tub or any other place and just breathe and really believe in the things that you're that you are listening to. My recordings, your recordings, and the voice of your partner. But still, these recordings are really important. Now, you're gonna, you're gonna become your voice. So you're going to speak for yourself. You're going to take power over this experience. And you're going to give that power to this person while you're in labor. So this person is your birth partner, okay? So this person is going to speak for you they're gonna speak for you when you're in labor. You don't wanna be negotiating um, whether or not you're gonna have an epidural, or you don't wanna be negotiating whether or not you're going to get Pitocin and you're gonna go in for a C-section while you're in labor. Let me tell you, the biggest mistake you could make is be the one who's speaking for yourself when there's no, when they're, when the doctor is telling you that you are not gonna have the labor that you want. You want somebody to be standing up for you and that's your partner. So please have your partner ready and willing to stand up for you during this experience. In case there is emergency, in case there is any things that come up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your partner is there for you to speak for you. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening. These are the things that your partner is going to be doing. Um, if you have any questions or you need anything at all, please write in the comments and I will try to help you as best I can in response with another video. Thank you.